What's good, YouTube? It's a course of earth and prophecy. And uh, listen, man, um, like everybody, I have watched, I have watched Coming to America. Yeah, you know I'm saying too. I mean, I don't know why they got the title mixed up. Well, actually, I don't think they did. I think, let me see, Coming to America. Come, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my fault. Um, I've watched it, and to be honest with you, it was terrible. It was terrible. Um, now, I'm not going to sit here and bash the movie, because I think everybody has to understand that, no, they couldn't capture the magic how I mean like they couldn't capture they couldn't capture the essence they couldn't capture the 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 magic the first go around right like we all know uh or or I mean we all know that Earl Jones Earl Jones died you know like he passed away I don't know if this was before or after but obviously he passed away um you know there was a lot of characters that was left off well a few I'm not gonna say a lot but there was a few characters that was left off the scene uh that didn't make the part you know especially Lisa's friend you know what I'm saying uh and then obviously it was there was Lisa's ex-boyfriend for the first one the 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 the, 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 the guy with the curly hair I forgot his name he didn't make the part neither you know what I'm saying and then the first, no, the first movie we all knew that Lisa's friend hooked up with Lisa's ex-boyfriend because at the time, you know, uh, Lisa's ex, Lisa's best friend was flirting with Arsenio Hall. And then after that, you know, she just came to, uh, you know, she just came into reality and said that, you know what? You're single, I'm single, let's, you know hook up, you know what I'm saying, and then after that, Lisa dumped her, Lisa dumped him in the rain, you know what I'm saying, and then after that, you know, she came, she told him to come in, and then she started taking off his clothes, and saying, let me get you something warm to wear, and then after that, that was the end of that, you know what I'm saying, and then Lisa went on to marry Hakeem, and then, you know, 33 years later, because uh, obviously that was when the movie started, you know, obviously, 1988, you do quick math, that's basically 33 years. And now they're living in Mizzou, uh, now they're living in some bump, no, some, I don't want to butcher it, y'all can let me know where the movie took place. Um, but yeah, man, just, listen, when... When Hollywood do these, when Hollywood when Hollywood does these rebuilds, these reboots, whatever you want to call it, these re uh these recycling reboots, it's not for y'all because obviously y'all gonna turn heads and watch it anyways. I mean. For the people who said, oh, it sucked, oh, it's boring, oh, it's this and that, y'all watched it. Y'all watched it. Y'all could have just said, yeah, you know what, I'm not going to watch it. And don't even bother with it, but your conscience said that, you know what, let me just watch and see what it's about. And then y'all still have the audacity to just say that it was boring. Now, like I said, the movie sucked, in my opinion, but it had a lot of great points to the movie it showed that you know it showed more it showed a different side of Akeem like that we didn't get in the first movie you know what I'm saying like we saw Hakeem you know go through drastic measures to get his son you know what I'm saying uh we seen Hakeem father died which he didn't obviously didn't in the first movie um you know uh Wakanda, there you go. I think that's the location that they filmed. Um, we got to see how, you know, he ruled Wakanda 
you know, differently than he would have in, you know, Queens. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? Um, you know, he showed, you know, he was still best friends with Antonio Hall after all those years. You know what I'm saying? Because best friends don't come around that often. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he was still good relationship with, you know, Lisa's, you know, father. Um, what else? You know, th the three daughters, obviously one of them do being, being his real daughter in real life. That meant, I mean, a lot of people didn't really know that. You know what I'm saying? One of, one of the daughters that played her daughters, his daughter in the movie was actually his real daughter in real life. Um, you know, so you got to see the side of Akeem that you actually didn't see in the beginning. Now, how did this whole, you know, son come about? Because we all knew that Hakeem only had three daughters. You know what I'm saying? Well, he messed around. And when they... Y'all remember the part where um, they went to the club and it was basically, you know, um, lurking for, you know, Hakeem's, you know, quote-unquote wife or girlfriend... You know what I'm saying? Because the one that her, his father requested didn't necessarily fit what he was going with. You know what I'm saying? So they basically sat down, you know, interviewing girl after girl after girl after girl after girl. And then they cut. They had like a plot twist. They had like a cut scene where, you know, this wasn't in the first one. You know what I'm saying? This is when Sunio Hall was drunk, I think. And then, you know, he talked, he wound up talking to two other girls. The other one was Leslie Jones, I believe. And that's the one that, you know, uh, you know, Hakeem, you know, messed around, got drunk as well. And, you know, boom. And then fast forward later, you know, he had a son, you know what I'm saying? And the reason why Senegal Hall didn't tell him is because he didn't want to, you know, break or break, break you know, the their tradition or he didn't want to break the, you know, bond of their friendship and stuff like that. So, you know, obviously, you know, Hakeem dad passed away. Uh and then the crazy part is the mother. The mother wasn't in the movie neither. The first the second one. The second one. The mother wasn't in the second one neither, which was odd. But, you know, it is what it is. Um so they went to Queens, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, um, Eddie Murphy did the whole, you know, coming to America gimmick with the, you know, matching, you know, um, you know, New York jacket, whatever have you, and, uh, you know, he said that you are my team, I mean, you are my son, Akeem, and then he didn't, he didn't believe him at first, so, you know, when they went back to his house, you know, Simeon Hall had like a briefcase and then it magically opened. And then all he saw was like, you know, money and he saw like a golden, it was like a golden something. I don't know what it was. Uh, and then he saw his name and then he saw his figure on it, like a statue. He saw like a statue of him and then he looked at him and then he looked at the statue and then they did just say that, okay, let's pack our bags. We go into, you know, whatever, wherever there was located. The movie was located. Um, and uh, what else? What else? What else? And then obviously he didn't really know a lot of the past on how Akeem actually got, you know, to where he was. You know, like he had to take like a line hair. And the only thing he had to use, like, was a pair of scissors. He had to know, like, um, his son basically had to know everything about what he, what his dad taught him. Or what uh, Hakeem dad taught him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he didn't know how to walk right. He didn't know how to, you know, posture himself. He didn't know how to, you know... You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't know how to do the traditional stuff. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know the forefathers of, you know, stuff. And the movie, the movie was 
a bad, but it had a few good pointers to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the jokes wasn't funny. Um, there was, like, we didn't necessarily know a lot about the characters. It was just hi and then bye. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't necessarily get to know each one of the characters by heart. You know what I'm saying? Wesley Snipes was in there. Uh, Michael Blackson was in there. Rick Ross, for some reason, was in there. The only reason why Rick Ross was there was because they was actually using his house to film the shoot. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason why but he was there. But he, w he was just there for that one scene. And then after that, he was just not even there no more. You know what I'm saying? Michael Blackson, same thing. He was just there for that one scene. He, they was not even there no more. The twins that was in the first one, that was rapping... They was in it in the last scene, in the last scene in the in the second one. So, um, but you know, my opinion, man, I'll give it a D plus. You know, if I had to grade it, you know, um, but again, man, like we're just living in a different time period. You know, um, like if you don't like any, if you don't like something, just don't watch it. you know, or don't say anything bad about it because people might like it people may watch it for the first time and say oh no this is not the original film and then you might they might say what are you talking about this is the original film no this was a second one there was the original film was back in 1988 they just made a reboot of it they just made it you know better not better but they just made it different and then and then you'll probably say, oh my God, now you tell me? So now I have to stop what I'm watching. So now I have to stop this just to watch the first one. And then when I'm done watching the first one, I have to watch, you know what I'm saying? So it, it gets very complicated. So they may not be like the people who grew up in the 80s. They watched this movie. People who's 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. They watched this movie. They watched the first one. Now, obviously, the, the new one, we all haven't watched it. You know what I'm saying? Now we just starting to watch it. So I just think that people have to give movies time. You know? Like, all these new movies that's coming out, like the Tom and Jerry movie, I went to go see it. It was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say it was pretty bad. It was pretty good. It was still funny. Uh, I think Tom and Jerry hit always, you know, at it. You know what I'm saying? So it was not bad. You know, I went to go see the Mul uh, the Mulan movie, you know. So basically I had to watch the cartoon version because I think they made two versions of the cartoon movies. I have to watch I had to watch that and then I had to watch the original one, which is already on Hulu. So um Cause I get I get notified of new movies coming out and stuff like that, so I had to watch the you know Mulan movie, and it was drastically different. You know what I'm saying? So every movie that comes out is gonna be different. I'm pretty sure when the Godzilla versus King Kong movie comes out, y'all gonna be crapping on that movie too, or you know when you know um the new Mortal Kombat movie comes out. Y'all probably gonna be crapping out about that too. So this generation is spoiled. It's not y'all fault. It's just the way it is. Every movie that comes out don't have to be like the first one. That's what's different, you know. Like we didn't get to see a lot of the stuff in the first one. You know what I'm saying? Cause in my opinion, I think they left that out. I think they left a lot in the first one. Now, obviously, they didn't want to go into too much details in the first one, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, at least show us how, you know, it turned out. You know, we all know the only thing we knew that Lisa and Hakeem got married. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't show you, like, it didn't show you what happened after the marriage. You know what I'm saying? Like, just give us a little sneak peek. Or whatever, but no, they just got married and it was done, you know. So, um, 
But I think the new one, it, it showed a lot of versatile, versatility. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, again, it showed Akeem, you know, being different from being diff- uh, being a father to his three daughters. Um, you know, being with Lisa all this time. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it showed he had loyal and loyalty and um, he was just a great father to his son as well. So, I think people watching it for the first time, just give them, just give them a chance. You know, like their opinion may not be as, like their opinion may not be your opinion. You know, the way you view the movie Yes. Was the jokes terrible? Yes. You know? Uh, there wasn't a ton of jokes in the first one, neither. You know? Like, I could go back and rewatch the first one, and there really wasn't any jokes throughout the whole entire movie. Except for when, you know, Eddie Murphy was on the balcony screaming you know, screaming out the top of his lungs and people telling him to F, shut the F up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was the only fun part. Or that was the only funny part of the movie. Other than that, it, were, it really wasn't too much to, you know, sniff at. You know? Uh, but this one, it lacked a lot of chemistry. It lacked a lot of romance. It lacked a lot of comedian. You know what I'm saying? I thought, you know, Michael Blackson was going to come out there and say a few jokes. But obviously, he's just doing his job. So, I can't really blame him on that. Um, But yeah, man. Just, you know, let me know what you thought about the movie. Uh, I will put the video in the description box down below. But, uh, you know, they're going to do it again. They might probably do Coming to America 3. Hopefully not, but you never know, you know. Or they might just be done with it altogether, you know. No more sequels to this, <laughs> please. Uh, you know, in the Life, Life movie. Y'all remember the, the Life movie with uh, Eddie Murphy and, uh, and Lawrence and Martin Lawrence in 1999? They think about, they thinking about doing a Life 2. Now, I don't know if it's going to be with the same characters, uh, you know, um, I mean, to me, that's one of the greatest movies in the 90s, to be honest with you. Life was the greatest movie of the 90s, uh, but if they were to make a second one, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know, man, I don't know. Because obviously at the end we all saw them escape the the ward, um, and obviously there was you know um, there was at the Yankee there was at the Yankee game all as hell because obviously they were sent to prison to die for life. You know that's why they call the movie Life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they got wrongly accused of killing the man who they actually didn't kill, but you know obviously at the time segregation was just all the all time high, so um, they just got you know away with murder. They got guilt. They got life because they didn't even do it. You know what I'm saying? And we've seen a lot of cases like that. So um, you know, if they were to make a second one, <sighs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> this word would be this word would explode. Now again. I don't know if they would use the same characters. That's the thing, you know? Because Claude, Claude, uh, Claude Banks and, um, oh, God, what's, whoa. Roy, I think this, no, Ray, Ray, there you go. Ray and, 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 and Claude Banks, um, I don't know how the movie would probably turn out. I like I said, I don't know if they're going to use new characters. I don't know if they're going to use the same characters. I'm just saying that, you know, there was rumors of Life 2 coming out, you know? So, 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but if they did come out with that, oh God, I don't know how America would 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 take that. To be honest with you. But you're gonna see a lot of reboots, man. You're gonna see a lot of reboots because that's what a that's what you know happens when you get lazy, lazy writing in America. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like why don't they just go back to making movies? They don't have to make every damn reboot, every damn sequel. Cause we already seen the first one. We don't gotta see the second one. Like. Just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it alone and go back to making movies like you did, you know, back in 2009. Like, see no evil, hear no evil, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or just go back to making Saw movies. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, do something. I mean, like, making sequels is not helping y'all out, period. You know, to be honest with you. So... Uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, and until next time, take care of yourself and each other.